The Rockwell scale is a hardness scale based on indentation hardness of a material. The Rockwell test determines the hardness by measuring the depth of penetration of an indent under a large load compared to the penetration made by a preload. There are different scales, denoted by a single letter, that use different loads or indenters. The result is a dimensionless number noted as HRA, where A is the scale letter. When testing metals, indentation hardness correlates linearly with tensile strength. This important relation permits economically important non-destructive testing of bulk metal deliveries with lightweight, even portable equipment, such as handheld Rockwell hardness testers. History The differential depth hardness measurement was conceived in 1908 by a Viennese professor Paul Ludwig in his book Die Kegel Probe. The differential depth method subtracted out the errors associated with the mechanical imperfections of the system, such as backlash and surface imperfections. The Brunel hardness test, invented in Sweden, was developed early era Euro and 1900 a Euro, but it was slow, not useful on fully hardened steel, and left too large an impression to be considered non-destructive. Hugh M. Rockwell and Stanley P. Rockwell from Connecticut in the United States co-invented the Rockwell Hardness Tester, a differential depth machine. They applied for a patent on July 15, 1914. The requirement for this tester was to quickly determine the effects of heat treatment on steel-bearing races. The application was subsequently approved on February 11, 1919, and holds U.S. patent 1,294,171. At the time of invention, both Hugh and Stanley Rockwell worked for the New Departure Manufacturing Company of Bristol, CT. New Departure was a major ball-bearing manufacturer which in 1916 became part of United Motors and, shortly thereafter, General Motors Corporation. After leaving the Connecticut company, Stanley Rockwell, then in Syracuse, New York, applied for an improvement to the original invention on September 11, 1919, which was approved on November 18, 1924. The new tester holds U.S. patent 1,516,207. Rockwell moved to West Hartford, Connecticut, and made an additional improvement in 1921. Stanley collaborated with instrument manufacturer Charles H. Wilson of the Wilson Mall and Company in 1920 to commercialize his invention and develop standardized testing machines. Stanley started a heat treating firm circa 1923, the Stanley P. Rockwell Company, which still exists in Hartford, CT. The later named Wilson Mechanical Instrument Company has changed ownership over the years and was most recently acquired by Enstrom Corporation in 1993. Operation The determination of the Rockwell hardness of a material involves the application of a minor load followed by a major load. The minor load establishes the zero position. The major load is applied, then removed while still maintaining the minor load. The depth of penetration from the zero datum is measured from a dial, on which a harder material gives a higher number. That is, the penetration depth and hardness are inversely proportional. The chief advantage of Rockwell hardness is its ability to display hardness values directly, thus obviating tedious calculations involved in other hardness measurement techniques. It is typically used in engineering and metallurgy. Its commercial popularity arises from its speed, reliability, robustness, resolution and small area of indentation. In order to get a reliable reading the thickness of the test piece should be at least 10 times the depth of the indentation. Also, readings should be taken from a flat perpendicular surface, because convex surfaces give lower readings. A correction factor can be used if the hardness of a convex surface is to be measured. Scales and values, there are several alternative scales, the most commonly used being the B and C scales. Both express hardness as an arbitrary dimensionless number. Except for testing thin materials in accordance with A623 the steel indenter balls have been replaced by tungsten carbide balls of the varying diameters. When a ball indenter is used, the letter W is used to indicate a tungsten carbide ball was used, and the letter S indicates the use of a steel ball. 
for example 78 RCW indicates the reading was 70 in the Rockwell C scale using a tungsten carbide indenter. The superficial Rockwell scales use lower loads and shallower impressions on brittle and very thin materials. The 45N scale employs a 45 kg force load on a diamond cone-shaped braille indenter, and can be used on dense ceramics. The 15T scale employs a 15 kg force load on a 1 or 16 inch diameter hardened steel ball, and can be used on sheet metal. Readings below HRC20 are generally considered unreliable, as are readings much above HRB100. Typical values, very hard steel, HRC55 a Euro 66, axes, about HRC45 to 55, brass. HRB55 to HRB93, H10 temper, several other scales, including the extensive A scale, are used for specialized applications. There are special scales for measuring case hardened specimens. Standards, International. ISO 6508 1, Metallic Materials, Rockwell Hardness Test, Part 1, Test Method, ISO 2039 2, Plastics, Determination of Hardness, Part 2, Rockwell Hardness. U.S. Standard. ASTM E18 A standard methods for Rockwell Hardness and Rockwell Superficial Hardness of Metallic Materials. See also. References. External links. Video on the Rockwell Hardness Test, Rockwell Scale Conversion Chart, Rockwell to Brunel Conversion Chart, Hardness Conversion Table.